Hey guys, I wanted to make a video on a study that popped up on my Facebook news feed the other day and I um, immediately read it, liked it, loved it so much I printed it out and I wanted to make a video out of it but I'll post it down below for sure. A way to reverse coronary artery disease uh, in the Journal of Family Practice and the principal author, the number one author is, is Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn. And I'm going to be going through um, just the major points here, but feel free to read it. It's really it's a it's a really quick read, but it's a great um, study with a lot of information packed in it. Uh, coronary artery disease is the number one killer of men and women in the U.S. despite surgical interventions and medications. Um, and even with these interventions, little protection against future cardiac episodes. So, in other words, it doesn't treat the actual disease. It just treats the symptoms. The study took 198 subjects who had some form of coronary artery disease. Uh, they were put on a high carb, low fat, whole foods, plant-based diet, whole grains, legumes, lentils, and fruit and vegetables made up the bulk of the diet. They had specific directions, no animal products, no fish, meat, fowl, dairy, oils, avocados, which are kind of fatty, no nuts, no artificially sugary foods, and no overt salts. Um, the study, they followed these people for an average of 3.7 years. 21 participants, 21 out of the 198, were non-adherent, which that means through self-reporting they said, yeah, I cheated, I had some of the food you told me you, we weren't supposed to eat. Um, but rather than throwing out their data and eliminating them, they still, they said, keep going, uh, and they kept track of them. Of the 21 people who were not adherent, uh, 13 experienced at least one adverse event, uh, including cardiac death, heart transplant, stroke, stents, bypass. So 62% of the 21 people who were not adherent had some sort of adverse effect. So there's that. And then of the original 198, 177 were compliant. They did what they were told based on evidence from the previous 30 plus years of alternative treatment research to coronary artery disease. Of the 177, there was only one cardiovascular event related to disease progression, which was a stroke, making the recurrent event rate 0.6%, not 6%, but points less than 1%, 0.6%. In other words, 99.4% of adherent patients to the dietary guidelines avoided any other major cardiac event in that 3.7 year span. In the discussion, the authors, they make some really good points about how you know, 89% of the patients, essentially that 177, were willing to make a substantial lifestyle change in terms of the foods they ate. Um, and I think that's a really good point because if they if, if, if you ever read a study that said oh we took two or three or four hundred or two or three or four thousand people and a hundred percent of them were willing to make the change that's not realistic it's never realistic to have a group of more than 25 people um, all be on board and follow the rules to a T that's not realistic to the real world so it's a good point. Ninety-eighty-nine percent is a pretty good number. That's a pretty good percentage of people who, hey, they realize that there's a problem and they want to make a change. Further evidence that a high-carb, low-fat, plant-based intervention may prevent, halt, or reverse coronary artery disease. This quote has been validated with a high probability by epidemiologic studies. End quote. It cites two studies that had one had thirty-one thousand participants. The other one had 44,000 participants uh, with significant findings that suggest that nutritional interventions uh, help with the treatment of coronary artery disease. Some other notable quotations, quote, we believe food may be the most important lifestyle factor in establishing the presence or absence of disease. Really good point. Uh, end quote. With this non-invasive treatment, they say there would be less need for stenting and surgeries which have a very high probability of uh, complications and, and, and side effects. 
treating this way enables the body to correct itself and to heal itself without cutting it open and sticking something in it that's not supposed to be there. Uh, quote, while drugs have some effects on disease initiation and progression, these interventions do not address disease causation. Most patients experience disease progression. More drugs, more imaging, repeat interventions, progressive disability, and, too often, death from a disease of Western malnutrition. End quote. The present cardiovascular medicine approach, tested beyond 40 years, can neither cure the disease nor end the epidemic and is financially unsustainable, end quote. So, from reading this study, the answer should be very clear. Plants for the win. Eliminate animal products as best you can from your diet. Uh, as a challenge to those who may practice or participate or recommend a high fat, low carb diet like the Atkins diet, and I'm sure there's, there's a many more out there, can you name for me a study that takes a group of people with coronary artery disease and treats them with a high fat uh, diet? High fat, low carb, little to no fruits and vegetables and legumes and gets actual results. I haven't seen one yet and I doubt I will see one because it's those high fatty foods that are causing the coronary artery disease in the first place. So why would you treat a disease with the foods that are causing it in the first place? Treat the cause, not the symptoms. If you eliminate what's causing the disease and give your body the tools it needs to heal you will get better and you will heal from these diseases. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this uh, study is posted down below. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks so much.